Hello friends, welcome and welcome back. I'm so happy I can be outside. It's a beautiful day today. So today I'm gonna share with you my summer bulb haul. So these will be blooming in summer. I have several different ones in here. So the first one is the Asiatic Mixed Lily. This was 11.49 and there's 15 bulbs in the pack. And this one is a perennial, meaning it will come back up the following year. So I love the lily in the garden. I have a few already trying to come up, but obviously the blooms aren't up as yet. I do garden in zone 6B, so it's still spring here until I think probably around mid-June. So this lily requires full sun or uh, part shade. And there's different colors in here, so it's interesting to see what colors I would actually get. And it grows 24 to 40 inches high. And I'm gonna give you um, a preview of the ones I have coming up behind here. So here, this is what the lily looks like. So in summer, I should be getting some blooms in the middle there. And the other one is this hosta. It's the blue mix hosta. I got this from Lowe's. There was three roots in here for $6.98. And I started this in, in those. And I was very surprised to see, look how, look what happened here. I was very surprised to see, look at the outcome. You can see there's three, there was three roots in here. So I'm going to divide this in a couple of weeks. So I planted it in those that at least has some beautiful foliage on here. And I was very surprised that it actually grew this fast. So I'm excited to see how it's gonna become this color, right? Look at the difference. And has to require shade. So I have to make sure this is in the shade. I think I'm gonna use the big one in a container and make a shade container just to keep it more to the front so I can see the beautiful vibrant blue hopefully it turns blue all right and then we have Leatrice oh my goodness I love Leatrice I have purple and white throughout the garden and I was so so excited when I found this at Walmart. This was 16 roots or corms. They're really, really tiny in here. Very tiny. There's 16 in here for 545. These look good when you plant it in groups of five, I would say. And let me tell you how tall these guys will get. They will grow up to three feet tall, 24 to 36 inches and they bloom in summer and your butterflies and your pollinators and your bees they love Leatrice so when you plant these keep your eyes out and you definitely will be seeing a lot of bees and butterflies in your garden and I'm gonna take you over here and show you this is from last year and look at this and I left the stock on <laughs> Because in the winter, in the fall and winter, the birds love the seeds. So I just left it there as food for the birds. But this is actually what it looks like. It's already coming back up. Very happy to see that. And I have a lot in the front and they're already coming up too. So that was, that made me pretty happy to see that. All right, so I got two packs of the Leatrice. Actually, I would have gotten more, but these were the only ones they had in stock. I was like, oh, I'm getting them. And then next up, we have the Gladiolus. These ones, I found at Big Lost for $3.99. And I absolutely love the colors on here. I'm planning to do a new garden bed where I try to do all different shades of pink. But we'll see. So these are supposed to go in here the different shades of pink so that will look pretty it's gonna call a flamingo garden different colors of pink anyway gladiolus beautiful beautiful and underrated flowers 
great summer bulb you can start these from inside i have a video when i just started doing youtube where i actually started these inside and they grow very very easy and and look who's behind here that's the stray cat she comes to the garden fountain and drinks water it's nice seeing her anyway sorry about that but the um the gladioles they make beautiful cut flowers too and they come back up i'm in zone 6b and they come back up for me and they grow up to 40 inches tall oh that's pretty tall they're beautiful and then i have another bag of gladioles from walmart this is 16 in here for 52 obviously this is probably a better price but i love the colors in here look at that it's like a flamingo color right in there and this one is a mix this has different colors in here so this would go anywhere in the garden but the pink ones i want to keep them for the flamingo garden i'm gonna make and you can put your gladiolus in full sun or partial shade if you never try these i strongly recommend you do they're such an underrated flower but they're beautiful the blooms and the gladiolus is magnificent all right and then up next are your stargazer lilies these are four bulbs for five dollars and 42 cents i got these from walmart and these are also perennial so they will return again and then i have the pink also to go in the flamingo garden just a tip for you if you purchase these in this green bag i know you can't see so that's never a good thing when you can't see these bulbs but just feel and make sure you have what's in here because sometimes i've bought these and then when i open them there's literally nothing in there especially the ones where they give you the roots the bulbs you can feel it it's heavy you can feel it so just just make sure you check it out when you're at the store and not when you actually come home so here's your lily then we have the triceratops <laughs> there's two roots in here for 542 i got this from walmart pardon my mispronunciation this blooms late summer and it prefers full sun to part shade so i took it out of the bag so you can actually see what it looks like the bag is green so you cannot see in the bag and there's two roots in the bag and before i plant these i'm definitely going to soak them overnight so it hydrates and it wake up the root and then we have the clematis this is so pretty this is just one root for 542 also from walmart and it blooms early summer and the clematis can go 8 to 12 feet high and here's what it looks like out of the bag. You can see it's healthy. You can see the shoots already on here and the root looks very healthy. And we have this beautiful Dahlia Magic Sunrise. This is 10.98, there's three in the pack. I got this one from Lowe's. Dahlia is not a perennial for me but strangely i've noticed this year those i have planted they actually came back so i'm very surprised by that i'm in zone 6b and with dahlia they love full sun this one grows 30 to 48 inches and it blooms summer to fall and it's great as a cut flower and it's great also in containers and this one is such a beautiful color. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Alrighty, so we have the Dahlia, the pastel mix. This was three bulbs for $9.98 from Lowe's. Look how beautiful these colors are. And it's multiple blooms per bulb. Blooms until first frost. And then, of course, as I mentioned before, Dahlia requires full sun. This will bloom summer to fall and it will grow 36 to 40 inches and it is hardy from zones A through 10. And of course, as I just mentioned, make sure you check your 
bulbs when you purchase them when you see this green in here that's when you know this is a good bag and if you're not gonna plant your bulbs anytime soon i recommend you take them out of the bag because they're a living plant right they need some air even though there's a hole right here i mean they need not to be in the bag too long i can't wait to see these in person and then we have this asiatic lily Ducati or Ducatai, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. This was from Lowe's. There are six bulbs in here for $6.98. Look at this. Beautiful. And these, this is a perennial. And of course, when you purchase your bulbs, make sure you inspect the packet, especially when the packet is clear. You can actually see. And these look very healthy. I'll be planting them very soon. And it says multiple blooms per bulb. So that's good. And with this one, it loves full sun, bloom summer, and it's 40 to 44 inches in height for the plant. And it's hardy from zones three to nine. Next, we have canna. I love canna lilies. I have the red ones obviously they're not planted i had to dig them out because they rot out in my zone so i dig them up and i take them inside so they will be coming out very shortly my frost date should be over sometime in may so i don't want to take the chance and bring out certain things outside and have to take them back in it's just too much work but i got this orange look at this orange and the foliage is this chocolate color it's beautiful so these are three canna in here and this is heavy you can actually feel it so you know you know you have three in here i can actually feel it and the canna they do not return for me i think they return from zone seven or eight so you just want to check your package or just google it and see but these do not return so as i said before i have to dig them up and they bloom summer to fall and the kind of love full sun and if you want hummingbirds in your garden i recommend you plant these that's my first time having the orange ones but the red ones it's beautiful when i see the hummingbirds coming around and sucking on the nectar so the red ones i know attract hummingbirds i'm not sure if the orange does but we'll see when i plant it if actually hummingbirds go on it and these grow up to 72 inches tall so with these i'm putting these by the pond here and it helps to keep the sun off of the pond, which helps to prevent the algae from developing. Because you know when you have a fish pond, you have to try to keep the sun off it. So these I'm going to put right here. And I can show you right over here is where I had a canna. I left some in here, but I dug up most of them. So all these are right now. Anyways, friends, and then I hope you enjoy this video. And I just wanted to share with you some bulbs. I'll be planting for summer and I'm so excited and I can't wait to plant them up. So until next time, you take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.